Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to be showing y'all my everyday carry man bag slash man purse. So this bag right here uh, is from a company that probably has one of the best uh, names in bag history, which is Nutsack. Um, and it is a very, very heavy duty premium wax canvas uh, with real leather on the bottom for the strap for the carry handle. It's got a really nice padded uh, shoulder strap. I'll put up a video of uh, you know me like having it on my person. I like to wear it really high up on me so it's right around my hip area. And then uh, whenever I'm out and about, I like to wear it in like the small of my back. But yeah, this is one of those bags that will truthfully last multiple generations as long as you care for it the right way. And I don't see how a person could take and manage to damage a bag like this really like unless just something happens with like stitching it's not meant to be this is not like a uh, overall you know mini survival kit this uh does have survival elements into it a car broke down on the side of the road you needed to uh take actions to, to keep warm get water uh, things of that nature if you're in the city i have like a urban survival kit slash bag that like i'll carry around if i ever go to like charlotte north carolina winston salem uh roanoke richmond because i'm in between both of those areas but as far as just like day to day going to town even if i do go to those areas and i'm just supposed to be there for like a doctor's appointment like going and getting like a jersey mike's or some Krispy cream donuts then I always take and throw this in the car and just carry this around day to day because this is a phenomenal loadout okay starting off we'll just go right to the back it has this open envelope style compartment right here up top i just keep this multifunctional tool card from lever gear now this does have a money clip on it but i use the money clip to attach it to the molly webbing right there in the back and this is just nice to have the main function that i use on this uh, most often is the bottle opener because if i have this with me i'm out and about somebody needs a nice cold uh, brew open you can just Really easy, reach in, get that opener up, sticker back in. So that's up top. And then down in the base of this, I have a fixed blade kniff. And this one is made by O-E-R-L-A. Um, I chose this one and I carry this in this bag because it's very sturdy, but it's not overly thick. Um, so you don't even know that it's riding right along there. Plus it fit. And that was a big thing. A lot of my knives are larger to where it wouldn't even fit uh, down in there. I just took the belt clip off the back of it. So it's just the sheath, but I've used this in the woods. It's very sharp. You can baton with it. Um, so I just feel like that was like the best, uh, the, the best fit for like an everyday carry bag such as this. And that's all that I keep in this back envelope compartment. Uh, every now and then, like if I have this on, I'll take stick receipts. Uh, I'll throw change in there because it's really easy just to reach in, scoop it out. Just like anything that you might want to uh, just throw down in the back of this, it is great for that. So now moving to the front, you have this leather strap, which you just pull off there, pull through here. And then there is a magnet in here, so it clasps down really nicely. So if you just want to walk around, you know, you don't want to screw with buttoning it. Uh, right there because it can be kind of hard to button since I've not got this one broke in uh, Well, I mean I've been breaking it in when you first got it It was really hard to uh, get that thing to clasp down But you could just carry it like that you need something just pull that up and then whenever you go about your business Just throw it down the magnet will catch it. So in the front here you have a zipper pouch Which this side over here is really bulged out and protruded because of the interior pouch where I keep my first aid supplies So I don't store anything over there. Um, it's mainly just this uh i guess y'all's left my right compartment area and these are some quick grab things uh i always keep two of these banana bag oral solutions i just have got their new orange one uh very tasty like if you ever had one of these or originals and you thought it was like bitter or just didn't taste good these are the orange ones now have like sugar in them um so i feel like most people would prefer that then here i got some some military meal tech caffeinated gum i got these from mre mountain when uh, i got my other mres that I've, you've seen me eat in the last videos these are 100 milligrams of caffeine per piece so if you can't find your way to a cup of coffee and you need me to pick me up or like let's say you're driving you should never drive tired but if you're driving and let's say you are tired you know pop one of those in and that will make it a lot safer for everybody on the road I always carry some form of chapstick uh truthfully i don't use chapstick that much but it's great you know for, for making fires you can take and cut off a piece of cotton of something uh you know coated in this and then it will burn a lot longer carry a spare lighter always have one in my pocket but good idea to have an extra one 
And then the last two things in the front are also from Lever Gear, the same as that uh, multi-functional tool card slash money clip. So this right here, if that'll focus, is a is USB to USB type C cable. So oh, I have a battery, I have a power pack inside the bag, so this can be used for charging the lights that I have, my phone, uh, for data transfer, just anytime, you know, this right here is an easy way to make sure you have a charging and data cable with you. But it also has the added benefit of having an adapter to where you can go from USB type C to micro USB. That just pops out, and then I'm not going to get it out um, because it's just it's really small and finicky. Uh, but that right there is one of those uh, phone tools that you use to pop open your SIM card slot. One of those things that you you know probably use at most like five times a year unless you're in some type of tech industry. But whenever you need it, you'll uh, you'll really miss not having it. It pops back in there real nicely, and it's just the size of like a normal USB stick, so very <clears throat> low profile. And then this is Lever Gear's uh, Bit Vault. Um, they call it the Bit Vault because you can take and buy it with uh, a Phillips head and a flathead bit that will fit in right here, and it's got like a magnet that'll hold it in place. But this is a waterproof container. You just take and pinch these two sides up top and pull out, and then it opens up this tray. It comes with these clear dividers. Uh, I opted to not put them in, but I think now I will because it'll probably help with uh, any rattling. But I just have some standard medication. I got two 600 milligram ibuprofens, Benadryl, and hydroxazine. Both of those are antihistamines for allergies or for sleep. Um, and then for some of you guys, a, a note to make, depending on the state you live in, you cannot carry medication outside of its original container. In the two states I frequent the most, you can. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. But that's really nice waterproof container. You can put this on your keychain. Um, and sometimes I do, like I'll just throw that in my pocket. It's just always nice to have uh, those, like you had a headache or just a body pain, ibuprofen solid. And then I have tor like horrible allergies and insomnia. So... Antihistamines are my best friend on that front. All right, so now time for the meat and taters of this loadout, which is the main compartment. So a nice, smooth zipper. You open her up, and that is what you are greeted with. So right here on top, these are typically out, but like out of the bag whenever I'm driving, because I, I like to wear these uh, for driving. These are first tactical uh, duty gloves with like neoprene knuckle protection. They're just a really nice thin uh, tactile glove. They offer a lot of dexterity. Um, these are not something you're going to take and like you know load wood with or do a lot of like outside chores. But uh, as far as just like wearing um whenever it's a little bit cooler like in the fall early spring um and for driving they're very nice because you can also operate your phone as well against the back i have a next tool multi-tool it's got spring assisted pliers your wire cutters a nice sharp pair of scissors it's got a really nice sharp saw blade that locks into place. And that was a big reason why I went with this one is the saw blade and the knife blade both lock, uh, you know, via that right there. Push that, fold her down. And then the knife is also extremely sharp. I just have to, it's, I have to use another knife to get it out because I have no fingernails. But very nice solid blade there. Really sharp. Just taking, peel the skin right off of you. You know, ruler on the side, just small things, multifunctional. Then it's got the bottle opener, can opener. They can also be flathead and then like a small Phillips. But like we got our screwdriver thing covered because I got something specifically for that. And then I just take and use the belt clip to clip it on the Molly webbing on the back. Okay. And then where this is something that I carry around in, you know, like the urban environment. This right here is the Atomic Bear pen. Uh, you know, whenever we've done our DIY survival kit build, I had one of these in there. But we had the whistle attached. But in this case, I have the actual pen. But we get the benefit of having a glass breaker, a solid pen. This could be used as a coupon, uh, you know, for self-defense needs. And then you also have an extra small flashlight right here that has a strobe function for, you know, emergencies or signaling. Okay, then over here on the left, I have two spare magazines inside these neoprene mag holsters. And I do not, I cannot remember where I got these and they have no brand name on them. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend those or link to those but yeah 
two spare 17 round mags for the Glock 17. And I'm sure some of you guys that are big into uh, concealed carry and stuff will notice that these are full metal jacket. And that is correct because inside my handgun, whenever I'm like walking around, I normally carry Hornady uh, critical defense rounds. You know, low penetration, all that good old stuff. And with these, I went with FMJ because it's like in the one and 50 millionth chance that I ever needed to, first off, just needed to use my firearm. Hopefully, I never do. But uh, that it was getting to the point to where I needed to go for like mag two and three. Uh, it, at, at that point, over penetration probably doesn't matter. So those are over there on that side, which I can unzip this, easily get to those, draw those, reload them. Okay, so then right in the middle, one of my immediate access items is I have my Cyan Sky headlamp. You guys know I use this all the time. I 100% reliable, very, very water resistant. I would almost like it's probably waterproof. I just don't remember off the actual spec page. This is the HS3R version. It's their mini headlamp. You can pop this off, clip it somewhere else. Super handy to have. But, oh, yeah, and this is also this headlamp is also magnetic so that you could like pop this out, stick it on the hood of your car. If you was working on your car in the middle of the night, you broke down, or you need to change a tire, just pop it on the body. Okay, and then over in this corner, I have the Science Sky P25 flashlight. Super long run time on low, and then if you take and turn this thing on turbo, you can blind anybody. And then you also have the added benefit of the SOS flash option. Water resistant, metal frame, use this all the time in the mountains. Fully, fully trust uh, these like Science Sky lights. Okay, and then the last lighting option, I know like technically now there's been four counting the pin, but I don't really count the pin. Uh, this is that Garbrielle uh, tack light. And this is really nice because I like to carry, you know, a, a low profile inside the waistband holster. And anytime you take and try to do that with a full frame handgun uh, that I like to carry, if you have a light already equipped, it's just a huge bulge on your waistband. But this light right here just clips on super quick and easy. And then you have yourself a nice light that you could throw on your handgun if you needed to do so. Okay, so that's how we're looking so far. Now getting down into the bottom portion of this stuff that's not on the side or in these pockets yet. This right here is an OERLA, same as our fixed blade knife. This is a ferro rod with a striker and a kydex sheath. Um, you know, like this is not meant to be a full blown survival kit, so that's why I didn't stick like you know a nice beefy uh, finger sized ferro rod in here. This one's just a nice, like one that would still last you for months on end of daily use. If both lighters that I had on me was to fail, then that right there is a phenomenal fallback. So for water, I have one of the Sawyer water filters in here. And then for the straw, which like you don't have to have a straw, I didn't put in the, uh, the soft tubing that comes with it just because I feel like those uh, in a kit like this with everything else that I have might be prone to get a hole or tear in it. So I have this uh, like, really thick plastic type straw that fits on to the end just fine it's still rubbery enough to where it fits around uh that nipple and that gives you plenty of reach plus i normally always have a smart water bottle or something because i've, I've got like five smart water bottles and i just refill them daily um and i normally always have one of those with me whenever i'm walking about keeping with water now this is like more of a survival element and not something that i use every day but these are two different uh silcock keys so anytime you're in a city or just around industrial stuff, there will be like water spigots and stuff on the outside of the building. They normally require one of these, which these Silcott keys, which will allow you to unlock the water and gain access. And, you know, something, if crap hits the fan, then you have ways uh, in an urban environment to access water supplies. I would still take and use the Sawyer water filter, even if it's coming from... Uh, you know, a building because like who knows what's in the pipes or what's been around the fitting head of the spigot. But these are very, th these two things is something you rarely ever see people put uh, into survival kits and stuff. And it's one of the most important if you live in or around a city. Then we have the all beloved zip ties. There's, I think maybe 10 or 12 here. Those that's a million and one uses for those. Just good to have on hand regardless. And so the Silcock keys, these things I'm about to show you, and the screwdriver I'm going to be showing you are all made by uh, by Duratech because I found them just uh, looking for these, and then I noticed they made like a lot of like a lot more multifunctional tools and stuff. And like once I got them, I went ahead and got uh, all this other stuff because it seems to be really good quality, and everything in here is multifunctional. So these right here 
or Duratech adjustable wrenches. So we have a metric and we have a US. And this one's big on the EDC front because I mean you just never you never know like what you're going to be doing um, or when you're going to need to you know undo or tighten a bolt throughout like overlanding or you just have any type of job in the trades having like an extra set of these could prevent a lot of frustration it seems like a lot of times you always have like wrenches or something around but you can't find the size that you need and as long as these handles ain't too long and you can get in or around what you need to tighten or loosen these will fit it okay and then the last tool is this duratech ratchet stubby screwdriver you know we live in the 21st century so there's no reason to still be using uh regular screwdrivers if you don't have to having these ratchet type heads on these uh screwdrivers just saves a lot of time and and energy and then i went with this stubby one because it has these bits stored in the bottom poke them out they're double-sided so in turn you have you have 12 different screw heads all the way from like hex ends to uh, phillips flathead just uh there's star head in here your most common bits are in this bad boy and all you do is you take and pull down on the collar stick it in the head's locked in place and then you can go to town I found this thing to be invaluable. Uh, you know, I don't have a trades job, but just around the house, whenever I'm out with friends, family, uh, needing to like whip this bad boy out and, you know, tighten or loosen something or, uh, you know, take the back off something, put batteries in it, all that good old stuff. It's just a super compact and convenient little screwdriver. And that's why I don't have the bits inside the lever gear uh, vault. This Duratech do jig right here, highly, highly recommend. Like if you don't have one of these, you you need to get one so y'all can see it better so on this side of the of the bag we have these two pockets and i just took this screwdriver out of that pocket and then i have my ten thousand uh mil, i think milliamp hour maybe if that's the right way to say it uh anyways power bank so that can charge my phone from zero to 100 twice i can use it since i have that usb-c uh, cable I can use it to charge the flashlight or the headlamp because both of those are USB type C <clears throat> in today's world uh, extra power is king okay then the final thing I have in this pocket with that is one of these little rolls of duct tape you know self-explanatory million and one uses okay and then finally over on in this left pocket this is the I'm bleeding and I don't want to be uh, kit so up front right here we have a SWAT tourniquet I mean you could take and get a regular tourniquet and throw it in here and you wouldn't really notice it at all like I have extra room in this in case I want to like throw a couple cliff bars you know some snacks or I'm just out and then I get something I need to store it in here so there's still plenty of room left in this kit but I got a SWAT tourniquet then I have a six inch Israeli bandage got a packet of bleed stop it probably would, wouldn't be a bad idea to take and throw another packet in here as well and then for like minor cuts and abrasions i have this large surgical pad like let's say you know if you cut yourself bad enough to where you don't want like there's no need to pull out the israeli bandage or anything else um but it was decently bad then you could pour bleed stop on it put this surgical bandage apply pressure to the bleeding stops and then i just have a couple of large band-aids if you you know paper cut nick your finger or whatever because like if you're walking around somewhere at town you don't want to take a chance on getting an infection of like touching everybody else's garbage but yeah there you go that is my empty nut sack <laughs> Yes, there you have it. That is everything laid out. So a lot of gear in a small package, very useful. Um, and I, you know, I want you guys to hit me up in the comments section with thoughts, opinions, things you would add, take away. I know some things you could always keep with you. Super glue, that's a big one. Um, but just just stay tuned because I'll be doing my herbal survival carry uh, slash urban EDC type bag. If like I know I'm gonna be in a city for an extended period of time um and yes yeah, so i'd love some feedback that i might be able to uh add to that video really appreciate you taking time to watch the video please hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share with your friend uh check the links in the description to this gear none of it is affiliate linked or uh, product placement or none of that garbage but if you're interested in it i will try to link to everything that i can still find a link for so check out the links to my gaming channel and my shooting channel there'll be a new uh, shooting video uh probably tomorrow from the day this video will be uploaded and yeah i just hope you all have a great day or night wherever you're at until the next one adios